Hey, I've been gone a little while. You know what, fuck it. I've been gone for a long time. I've been gone for a while. I'm sorry. I have a lack of self-discipline and I suffer from a very serious ailment called laziness. Why am I so awkward? I'll get it together. But in this video, I think I'm just going to take this opportunity to catch you guys up. It might be a bit of a long one. So far, I'm working on editing it. And without this, it's already at like eight, nine minutes. So good fucking luck to you guys. I'm going to show you mostly this guy and how I painted him and a little time lapse of this. And there's even some sketches. There's also a pair of human hearts that I've been working on. They're pretty realistic. I'm excited about how they look. I'll be able to throw in a little bit of a time lapse for those. I don't know if I'll finish those quite yet, but I'll be able to show you a little bit of that. I'll make one big vlog, 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 but I'll make one big vlog and show you guys everything that I've done. This is that vlog. Welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna go grab me some nice hot tea or some beverage and a snack and then we'll get started. Let's do it. Now this is just me sketching another xenomorph that I intend on doing eventually. This has nothing to do with this video at all. I won't be painting this one in this video. This is just kind of showing you how I chaotically sketch things. Got the dirty sketch on it. That's what I call these because I don't I don't really actually know how to draw. Got this guy here too that I sketched out. He's kind of kneeling down. Um, I can see it. Uh, I can understand if nobody else does. I can see it. And then I've got this fella that I sketched out super fast, but I got some I got some work to do there. But I think I'm happy enough with this that I think I'll go ahead and start painting it, or at least get some color in. I'm hoping that my proportions are right. They look, it looks like alien. Anyway. I have about 45 minutes before I have to start getting ready for work. So we will see what we can do in that amount of time. Let's do this. just me drying off the paint in between layers because I'm impatient. Something else I drew. Some conjoined twins that I'll probably never paint. So as of right now I'm just trying to block in some color and some minor details where I see fit. Um, a lot of the times I won't get my hopes up for a painting until I've blocked in some color and I can actually see the vision. Um, sometimes the vision doesn't come out right away, but I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far, so let's get in some details.
So um, right about here, you can see the instant regret when I add way too much white. Um, sometimes you're faced with uh, problems that need solutions, so I just go in with my bare hand for some reason and just blend that bitch out. I felt that using my hand helped with adding some much needed texture as well anyways. So. Not gonna lie, a lot of the time that I was working in this area of the xenomorph, I forgot to record, so a lot of the fine details and veins and little highlights that I did are not gonna be here. I'm really kicking myself in the butt for it, but uh, I'll show you what I can. So here is the finished product of the Xenomorph. I want to get a glazed coat on him eventually, but for now, I can still work on him if I decide that I see something I want to change. I might go into the mouth and add more details because it's kind of just like, lazy there, but yeah. Just kidding, let's see some more paintings. These are those hearts that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. Um, I haven't worked on the second one yet, so I'm just gonna be showing you this first one on the left-hand side here. Um, the idea is that when you look back and forth between the two, once they are finished, it will look like a pumping heart because one is squished and one is not squished. I don't, I don't know. But yeah. I realized that I forgot to record a lot of the detail, which is a common pattern with me. But like I said before, I'm just gonna show you what I can. How about a joke to fill in some of this space, huh? What's a bird's favorite beverage? Bitch can't guess, bitch can't guess. It's nest tea, get it? Cause they live in nests and they're birds. black 
blacking out the background is probably my favorite part of a painting. It's the most satisfying. So that's about as far as I got with these guys. I am gonna have to go and paint in the background again because of all those scuff marks because I left him on a table that all the cats got onto. But yeah, that's this guy here. Um, I have some more paint clips of like the little baby Yoda that I did and some other stuff. So yeah, if you wanna watch those, stay tuned. I'll play those right now. really feels like we've entered another video. All right, okay, here we go. How much does a polar bear weigh? Anybody know, anybody know? Males weigh about a thousand pounds. The females can get anywhere between 300 to 500 pounds. This was not another joke. You are one fact smarter. You're welcome. This is the finished baby Yoda. A couple pictures of him. All right, let's go look at a bunch of other stuff that I've done that you can also find on my Instagram. Before I end the video real quick, I just wanted to say a quick thank you for everybody watching still. I know it was a long one, thanks for sticking with it. Didn't expect you to, but here you are. I did get rid of my Etsy. Eventually, I would like to build my own website. I'm talking with different people about how to do that now. I just, uh, I'm a lazy piece of crap. But yeah, we'll see you next video. I'm not gonna tell you when that is because then I won't do it. See ya!